The fluid transposer is a thermal expansion machine that can automatically fill or empty liquid from containers. It'll consume redstone flocks at a maximum rate of 40 per tick, and use a total of anywhere between 400 and 800 redstone flocks to fill or empty each container. This is their current crafting recipe, and as you can see, it requires one bucket, two pieces of glass, a machine frame, two copper gears, and a redstone reception coil. Once placed, right-clicking on it will bring up its interface. This box here on the bottom left is where you can place portable items that hold redstone flux. So for this example, I'm just going to place a fully charged redstone flux capacitor here. As soon as I've done that, this bar here displays the redstone flux in the fluid transposer's internal buffer. It can hold a maximum of 48,000. As the internal buffer gets lower, it will start to slow down. This blue box here is for inputs. So just to quickly demonstrate, I have this bucket of water that I'd like to empty. So I'll place it here. This button here with the bucket on it controls the fluid transposer's mode. You can switch it between fill and empty. By default, it'll be set to fill. So to change it to empty, just click on it once. As soon as I did that, this bar here turned around. It'll face this way when it's set to fill, and it'll face this way when it's set to empty. When you click on it, it'll come up with a big list of recipes. At present count, there are 282, and there are all combinations the fluid transposer is capable of handling. This bar here also functions as a progress bar, running in the direction the liquid is traveling. So here, I'll just cycle between fill and empty so you can see. This bar here represents the amount of liquid in its internal tank. When you change the mode between fill and empty, the amount of liquid in this tank will remain unchanged, but the background color will switch between yellow and blue. I'll get to what the colors mean in just a minute. This red box here is where items will be output once the fluid transposer has finished processing them. They'll either be an empty or a full container depending on which mode you've got it set to. And you've probably already noticed that these bubbles here will turn blue whenever it's running. This button here with the gear icon on it will show the configuration menu. As with many other thermal expansion machines, each one of these boxes corresponds to faces on the outside of the fluid transposer. So here, we can see that the fluid transposer's front face has a circular shape on it. This corresponds to the middle face in the configuration window. By default, the front face will always face towards you when you place the machine down. From there, the rest of the faces are positioned relative to that face. I'll change the colors from the default color to a blank face just so that you can see. This one here is the top face. This one here is the left. This one here is the right. This is the bottom one, and of course this is the back face. Just keep in mind that there is no interaction with the front face. There are four colors to choose from, blue, red, yellow, and orange. So that's a total of five faces, each with four possible colors. So it might seem a little overwhelming at first, but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Firstly, if you set a face to the blue color, it'll allow liquid to enter the fluid transposer and be stored in its tank. To demonstrate, I'll place a tank with some water in it here, and connect a fluid duct. Using a crescent hammer, I'll set it as an output pipe from the tank, and then power it with a redstone signal. As we can see, the liquid has entered the pipe, but nothing is inside the fluid transposer tank yet. That's because I need to set the input face to blue. We've connected the fluid duct to the right face, so I'll set the right face here to blue. Still no liquid is coming in yet, but that's because the fluid transposer needs to be in the fill mode. As soon as I click the toggle button, the tank bar will turn blue and start filling with water. If you want to draw water out of the fluid transposer's tank, you can use a yellow face. So here, I want to draw it from the left face, so I'll set it to yellow. I'll connect a fluid duct into a tank as well. No water is coming out yet because I need to set the mode to empty. We can see the tank bar turned yellow, and now the liquid is being pumped out into the tank. So far, this setup is pretty useless. No one really wants to pump liquid into the fluid transposer, and then immediately pump it back out. So I'm going to bring some items into it. I'll set up a chest here with some buckets of water in it. Then I'll attach it to the fluid transposer with an item duct, and I'll attach it to the back face of the fluid transposer. Remembering to change the item duct chest connection color to red, and then power it with a redstone signal. Going back to the configuration menu, if I set the back face to blue, the bucket will leave the chest and end up in the fluid transposer's input box. And it'll move the bucket's water into the tank, and then I'll be left with an empty bucket. And the tank is still being emptied through the yellow face from before. I'll be left with this bucket in the output window. If I want to remove it, I can connect an item duct to any remaining face. Here, I'll connect it to the top face, and direct it out to another chest. Don't forget to use the crescent hammer to set it to a red output connection. Go into the fluid transposer's configuration screen and set the top face to red. We'll see the bucket leave via the item duct and end up in the chest. In one of the more recent thermal expansion updates, they introduced a new face color, orange, and its in-game behavior is a cross between red and yellow. So it can be used for outputting either items or liquid. So once again, just to demonstrate, I'll change the yellow and red faces to orange. Make sure the mode is set to empty, and I'll put new buckets of water in the first chest. Going back to the fluid transposer, we can see the buckets are coming in as normal, and they're being emptied as expected. The empty buckets are leaving through the orange face on the top, and the liquid is also being pumped out through the orange face on the side. 
If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a like. And if you want to see more tutorials like this one, you might want to consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments and have a great day.